Hey there guys, so earlier we did the Grace of Darkness trial, now we're going to be going to the Grace of Flame trial for an updated clear. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing all missions, and we're going to be taking Rick yet again. So Ace is going to be our leader skill, Rick is going to be our damage, Lena Firefield, uh, Dark Lineage Fina Machine Killer and Fire Support. And then Vaughn is going to be a bigger fire in peril and a breaker. So let's get in here and do a nice and quick clear. You know, I, I, I really enjoy Rick for his super, super burst damage. So, Kilma is going to be pretty much no problem. We're going to kill her on turn one once all the auto casting finishes. So, Lena can go ahead and put up her field. Vaughn can do his LB for the breaks and the machine. I'm sorry, the human killer. Uh, Fina will do Inferega, uh, Heavenly Field, and then doesn't really matter what else. And then we're going to do the LB of Ace, the Shifted LB of Rick. So Ace goes first, wait just a moment, then we send Rick. And that's the end of Kioma on turn one. She's pretty squishy. Okay, on the other hand, Tato is a little bit of a headache. He's going to be the hard fight of this stage for us. He's going to take two turns to kill. So, the way we're going to deal with Tato, on turn one, Fina will do fire support. Alright, fire support for Fina, so in Ferega, uh, Heavenly Field, then doesn't really matter what else. We're going to do Ace, we're going to get set up for killing next turn. We're going to Quad, we're going to do Triple Offensive card, and then let's make this count. While Ricks are going to go to the base form, we're going to do 250 Human Killer and then chain it up a little bit. We're not really worried about the fact that these were wasting our Magnuses because next fight is going to be killed on the first turn. So we're going to go ahead and chain this up. We're going to wait on Vaughn and Lena. Now you might be noticing we didn't really do a Fire in Peril or a Break or anything. That's why the damage was complete garbage. But we needed two people to Nethocyte here. So Vaughn is going to Nethocyte and so is Lena. You could also use things like Ash's STMR. There's the counter attack. We all guts the counter, and then we're going to Nethocyte the Flare and the Apocalypse so that we don't take any damage here. And now it's time to kill Tato. And part of the reason for doing this is we needed Ace's SLB for the good burst. And it's going to be ready next turn. Mine's only EX2. Um, so now, Fina can really, doesn't really matter. Honestly, we can Curega, it doesn't matter. Uh, Vaughn is going to, we're going to save his SLB. We're going to do oil, my brother's gone, and then we can just, you know, literally who cares. Lena can just jump in here with the Scarlet Wave to support chain. We'll cap with Ace, and then we'll go back to the shift form with Rick <coughs> and do the shifted LB. And this will finish off Tato now that we've had a moment to set up with 250 killers and all that. So Ace goes first, we wait. Then we chain our support chainers, or <laughs> our support chainers. No, Rick's not the support chainer. Rick is the real chainer, the real damage here. Anyway, there's Tato. Now, the reason we have to kill Omega on turn one, if you don't kill on turn one, the boss gets Mighty Guard, the fight gets obnoxious. So we're going to just turn one kill Omega, which is not easy to do. We might have to get a little bit of a good variant roll, but we should overall, for the most part, have this handled. So what we're going to do, Lena is going to shift and do the shift at LB. That's because Vaughn's SLB isn't quite as big of a spirit break. That's going to help Ace. Now, Ace's SLB is triple bolting strike. So he's going to weave in perfectly with our Ricks on this clear. Fina is going to in Ferega. Heavenly Field, and the reason we brought her is for the Machine Killer buff, 160%. And then Vaughn's going to SLB, and just for a spec more damage, we're going to weave Vaughn's SLB into the rest of the party, or at least attempt to. It's, a, it's one of those obnoxious chains, so we're going to try. So Vaughn's going to go first, we're going to wait, 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 and then chain the rest, and uh, it looks like I didn't quite weave it properly, but who cares, Vaughn's damage is almost irrelevant. Anyway, there's Omega on turn one. So I'll show you the team's gear real quick. You know, all missions, we did it in one, two, one turns. A four turn clear out of our 20 allowed. So Vaughn is using um, a damage build. I'm curious to see his damage at the end of it. It's probably gonna be like 100,000 or something, but we geared him for damage. We'll see what he contributed. The real, re the real reason he's here is for the human killer, 
the 160 in peril and the 89 defense break. Um, but we did gear him for damage. He does have a source of guts for the phase two or the turn two fight and a source of Nethesite to stop the fate, the battle number two, Tato. Stop Tato's attacks. And Vaughn did get a good card. So, yeah, his big 7,000 attack power with no leader skill. Uh, Dark, fin Dark Lineage Fina, here for the Machine Killer, the Fire Support, and the LB damage. That's literally it. Uh, guts, mana, re mana reduction, and that's it. She's just here for the buffing. Dancer Lena is using Obsidian Bracer, Mana Reduction, Scarlet Wave, Guts, Nethesite, and we are using Leave It To Me. This is, to, this is, this is just to give Vaughn a, a weapon in peril, the 25 Great Sword in peril, so Vaughn can do, I'm really curious to see Vaughn's damage in a second. But uh, that's all Lena did, and then Shift Form is because her Shifted LB is an 88 break, which is, that's actually the base form. Her Shifted, her shifted LB is 88 break, which is higher Spirit Break than Vaughn was doing. Um, Ace is, you know, LB damage versus humans and machines. He's only EX2, which is why we had to do that stalling so that he goes into the final fight on turn four of the entire encounter and gets his SLB good to go. Guts for the second fight, other than that, LB damage maxed out against humans and machines. Ricked, again, 18.4 attack power, maxed out against humans, well, everything, basically. He's, he's a very easy omni-killer unit. And then, um, here's the friend Ricked. Uh, geared for death immunity because, you know, I asked my friends to gear their ricks up for me because I was going to do the trials the normal way. But then I'm like, eh, normal way is boring. Let's speed clear these. So we don't really need death immunity. But if I was doing it the normal way, we, we would, of course, need a death immunity. Anyway, there is the Omega clear, the Grace of Flame. Four turns yet again. I'm not sure if we'll, we'll be able to get a four turn clear on um, the Grace of Lightning, but we're going to try. Anyway, we, we, we did 15.6 damage. We needed 15, so we overkilled by 600,000, which is not a ton, but it was enough. And out of curiosity, was Vaughn's damage needed? We overkilled by 600,000, and Vaughn, it was not needed. So, so all that commotion about gearing Vaughn for damage was irrelevant. He, we overkilled by 600, he only did four. So didn't even need Vaughn, but it was fun to play with him. Um, and here is the party's breakdown. So Ace, um, unfortunately, is not nearly as good as Ricked for Bursting, but, uh, you know, Ace is our leader, and that is important for this. And, of course, Ricked does all the damage. So, there was Grace of Flame. I will play with Grace of Lightning in a bit. See you then.